The Transition Squad specializes in online auctions of real estate and contents when you're ready to downsize. Licensed auctioneer and licensed realtor, Virif Baliwala, is back to explain how he can help you. Welcome back to the show, Virif. How are you? Thanks, Natalie. Thanks for having me back. So diving right in, because your company does so many, so many elements to it, but today we're going to focus on the prime property real estate. auction. Yes, prime and property auction. I gotta be honest, I think there's a negative connotation sometimes. Even when I hear the word auction, you're thinking, ooh, is everybody gonna it's come out happy? property. Right? Yeah, I mean, we've been so conditioned because of 2008 and all the other housing mm -hmm. crisis that everybody thinks auctions are, you know, foreclosures and distressed properties, et cetera. And, and that element is certainly there in many of the auctions that are out there, but we focus on prime property auctions. So um, if you're familiar with the finance industry, they have prime and subprime. Mm -hmm. uh, subprime is like bad credit and things like that. Mm -hmm. In the property business, subprime is like the foreclosures and distressed properties. The prime is the mainstream properties, just like you sell your house, clear title, everything else. The whole process is very similar. It's just the way that the pricing is negotiated. It's not. It's all fully transparent. It's not hidden. It's not you know, all those kinds of things. Which you've got to appreciate. And I know you started to talk about the real estate process. Let's look mm -hmm. at it from, from a buyer's perspective first. Sure. From the buyer's perspective, I still think of shopping for real estate. I want to be able to do the walkthrough. I want to be able to see the property firsthand. Yep. Sometimes you can't go through them in some of the other auctions you referred to. How can you make sure buyers are still going to come out with those kind of options? Well, our private property auctions already have that in place. So for example, the one we're doing right now, we've got six open houses that people actually can come out and see the property, bring out their inspection, Inspectors, bring out their their experts, etc. Bring out their parents. You know, take a look yes. and see what's going on there. So the whole process is virtually the same. You still get that chance to inspect it. You still get that chance ten days uh, after uh, the property is won. But again, it's just a matter of how the property price is negotiated. Instead of going back and forth the traditional way, mm -hmm. you're putting bids online. And so it's really a true market value because it's whatever the customer is willing to pay for it. Right? So obviously, you know, when we think of money, we think of amounts, we always focus on the sellers. But you're saying this does help buyers as well to pay attention to these prime property auctions. Absolutely, absolutely. Because, you know, when you're going through normal, say, multiple offer situations mm -hmm. that happen on homes, if you're coming in there with an offer of, say, 250000 mm -hmm. everything else is kind of secret. So even if the next highest offer is like 200,000, you still put in the offer at 250, yes. that's what you're paying and you're stuck, right? With ours, it's fully transparent. So you know what the other current bids are and you're only bidding enough to outbid your rival, next rival bidder. So you right? know you're getting that property for what it is truly Absolutely. the market value, which exactly. I know there's so many stigmas. That's a whole other topic we can get you'll, into. You'll never about. have to grossly overpay for a prime property you auction. You know us. what you get, what you paid for, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Now let's go ahead and transition to sellers. Right. Why is this something for sellers to consider? Say you come to the table and you've got an idea of what you want to get. You say still this prime property auction is the way to benefit sellers. Why and how? Absolutely. The normal way is you set an asking price. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the wrong way to actually sell anything. If you set an asking price, what you're doing is you're setting a ceiling. You're basically telling the world, it's okay, you don't need to pay me any more than this, Oof. right? Yeah. And so consequently, buyers come in somewhere down here and then you negotiate typically somewhere in between. With our approach here with these prime property auctions, what you do is you calculate out, and it's pre-negotiated kind of up front, here's my net net bottom line that I need in my pocket after everything is done, after commissions, after all that is done. and. This is what the starting point is. And because of the way we charge commissions, it's not really a commission, it's a buyer's premium. So the buyer automatically is getting the best price on the property itself that they want. And then it's just a matter of whatever the market says it's worth. Well, you know what? We've got about 15 seconds here and we've explained why it's a win-win for buyers and sellers. Let's bring in financing. And that kind of introduces us to the special offer that you're giving Morning Blend viewers as well. Absolutely. So. The winner of the actual auction is charged an 895 administration fee. So the special offer for, for Tampa Bay Morning Blend uh, viewers is that if you're buying the property through one of our lenders and you use one of our lenders, mm -hmm. some or all of that $895 administration fee will be refunded to you. You are changing the way I'm looking at real estate, my friend. Vera, thank That's you so much and come back and see us, okay? Will do. Thanks so much.